Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the App Podcast. Hope you're having a great day. We're going to take a look at Bumper Stars, which is a very fun game. A little challenging as you get going. Um, frustrating at moments, even, because the game's simplicity was kind of... At, at the beginning, I thought, oh, this is a super easy game, um, but it quickly got very hard, and then that made me want to really continue to play the game to try and get better. Um, so let's take a look. First thing, you integrate with Facebook. You can log into Facebook, um, post your scores and all that stuff, challenge your friends and everything. So uh, Facebook integration, which is great um, because that also helps you, you know, kind of share the app with friends so that you can challenge them to beat your scores and all that stuff. So um, let's go and look at challenge. Once you're logged in, you can go and create new challenges against other people. Um, so we could do that. And I don't have any of my friends that are currently playing Bummer Stars. Lame. I love that. I love stuff like that. Um, so I can invite friends. Really simple. Uh, it does take me out to the web for that, um, which is a little bit of a bummer, but eh, not a big deal. So it would be cool if there was some integration in the app for that. But uh, nonetheless, I can easily go and invite those people, um, you know, through the web as well. So uh, we could go right into my stuff and view all of my achievements, all my scores, games played and all that stuff. I can go into the store and uh, you see you have these credits. And so you could use these credits on different things uh, and kind of expand the game even further. So right now I have 500 Benjis and 250 two credits. So I could go in and get new characters and buy new characters and there's a ton of those and uh, you can spend more money on them. Um, you can also buy other objects for the game as well. So I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go back and uh, let's actually play this game. So you touch anywhere and drag your little gopher guy um, and he bounces around and you get points based on stuff. The object of the game is to collect or hit all of those fruits um, and that passes the level. But you only have three shots to do it, so you have to be kind of strategic here. So. As you can see, when I let go, he goes and bounces off of everything, kind of like a pinball game, almost. But the object here is that I hit all of these fruit. So, and that finishes the level. Oh, I just missed that one. Nope, oh, no good, I got that one. So, chances are I'm going to pass this level now. It gives me a last shot warning, but I did clear the level. You get extra points for having shots left over, uh, which obviously really helps with your score. Um, as you can see, it starts to spread these things out and put other obstacles in the way which makes it a little bit more difficult to pass uh, some of these levels. So being strategic, very important. So let's see what we get now. Yes, so level clear. I had one shot left, so I got a 500 point bonus. Very good. Moves on to the next level. Got a couple of those out of the way. These star uh, bumpers also, you get some extra points for hitting those star bumpers um, and having them disappear as well. Uh, you can see the star bonuses there. All right, so we cleared the level and we're moving on. So the problem here is, is that you have to be good at this each time. If you run out of shots, the game is over and you start over. There is no lives or whatever, you know, you lose a life or something like that for not hitting uh, hitting all the, the fruit and three shots. Um, you, the game's over, you know, and it's time to go and start over again, um, which makes it hard. It, it does make it really difficult. Um, as these levels start to progress and more obstacles and everything are in the way. So this is a lot of fun when you actually go and challenge your friends to playing these games. Um, you're not, you're, you're basically challenging each other for points. You're not playing side by side or whatever. Um, so that way you can challenge your friends and then later on they can log in and it says, oh, you have a new challenge and then, um, and then you can play and beat their score. It's like a lot of Facebook anymore. You don't have to be playing at the exact same time you're challenging based on score. So, uh, very addicting game, in my opinion. Um, I was playing this game last night for even a, a couple of hours trying to get past the 10th uh, uh, level, which is 
really difficult. Right now I happen to be at the sixth level and uh, not doing too bad. Haven't had any real close calls like I've almost lost here, but it definitely does get more and more difficult. Uh, but the ability to go and use your uh, your your credits and everything to go and purchase more characters and further expand the game and uh, characters have different uh, abilities and stuff like that. And, um, I mean, this guy here, he kind of he doesn't really travel. He bounces really fast, but he slows down really quick. And so, um, I'd be curious to see what some of the other characters... See, this doesn't look like a good... Si oh, yeah, that was my last shot right there. So, the game was over right there. Um, you can see that, uh, my score was okay. It wasn't anywhere near my high score. Um, one of the other things is, actually playing the game uses your credits. So, uh, you, you use credits, but as you progress through the game, other things start to collect, you can get more credits, you can get more uh, Benjis, and um, playing uh, other people and beating them I'm sure gets you points and credits as well. So the game, as simple as it seems, has a lot to it. Over here we've got our scoring, uh, we have our settings, and then we have a help menu here which kind of explains, uh, explains things. Um, I love that. There's an Ob Obama character. Um, how much I wouldn't mind bouncing him off some stuff. Sorry, that was just... whatever. I didn't say that. Anyhow, so Bumper Stars, a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. Get your friends involved in here. It says get free credits with each achievement you earn, additional credits and all that stuff. Um, it gives you a little bit more information about that here as well. So, have fun with Bumper Stars. It's a very uh, interactive game because you can go and play it with friends and all that stuff. So, check out Bumper Stars. And if you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate your five star iTunes review as well as one for Bumper Stars should you purchase this game and enjoy it. So, take care, and we'll see you next time on the App Podcast.